All right, anomaly detection. Is that how you pronounce it? Anomaly detection. Anomaly detection. Anomaly. 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 All right, anomaly. Anomaly. Anomaly detection. Basically, okay, wh why is it good? Because we're going to find the 10 parking lots. We're going to... It's good you find your the crappy data in your data set because the apartment's data set is a real data set. So let's go. And anomalies. It's getting late. I can't think straight anymore. Hope I'm not going to screw up too much. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the raw data and look at it. Anomalies, anomalies. Anomaly detection. Anomaly. Alright. This is the wrong query, I always hate. Can I just run get? It's going to get all. So we're gonna we're gonna run the AI train without test because it's an unsupervised learner. User guide algorithm classifier supervised regressor supervised cluster unsupervised and anim. Anomaly. Anomaly detection. Anomaly is unsupervised too. Meter algorithm. We're gonna give. We cannot take the default estimator algorithm because it's not gonna be a cluster. The default algorithm is KD neighbors. So we're gonna take this one, Gaussian. MLE, Maximum Likelihood Estimator. Okay. And it takes a parameter, parameter, <coughs> which is contamination, contamination. We give it 10%, no, 1%. Okay, this is, contamination just flags 1% of the data that you give as anomaly <laughs> starting to talk like the robot so for convenience we put this into let's see csv okay let's see what what it's what it's gonna do and there you go. So it ran it, it created this file. Okay, here we see those are anomalies. <clears throat> And this is the score. We can see like the next one could be an anomaly too or whatever. So it's just like a spectrum that's flowing over. But let's see if they're actually abnormal. This seems abnormal indeed. So big, only two rooms. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Parking one. Here we have the nine and 10 parking lots, which is very unlikely so what else do we have let's go one by one okay this seems to be abnormal this one could be normal it's too expensive though looks too expensive for a one room apartment what about this two millions one room doesn't seem normal 
What about this one? This seems fairly normal actually. This could be a false positive. Looks normal too. Like these two even look like similar, no? It shouldn't be abnormal. One room is unlikely. Three million is unlikely too. 13 million? It's very unlikely for such a small place. So big and only three rooms. You see, like all of those seem to be wrong. They certainly have more rooms there. Such a big space. 10 million for a two room apartment. It's not likely. So we see it's actually not so bad. I thought it's going to be worse. Like 3 million for one room apartment, it's not likely. So we can take it like this, or we can, another thing we can do is we can do the same like we did before, because the cluster and the anomaly detection both um, look at the data and try to decide themselves what what is together and what what is normal or is not normal. And I think Potentially, this could be a problem, the zones and these two. So I'm going to remove those while you're not watching. I'm going to remove these two, actually, and I'm going to turn these two into numbers. I can remove these because we got it here. Yeah, we got the GPS and those into numbers. And then we run it again and see if there's any difference, if we are happier or less happy. So this is what I did. So this is the old code and I added this one. So we map the border again to numbers, zero, one. Yeah, the same for the doorman. And after all, we make the zones hidden. Then we train again and see, let's see what it does. Living on the edge huh? with our risky tasks, tests. Uh, don't I don't have it already. Let's reopen it to get the new stuff. Ah, so much more space. So much better. Okay, these are... This is what? The 1%? Okay, with the 10 parking lots at the top and the, nine, uh, the third place. I like that. I like it as well that this is certainly wrong. It's not 13 million. So the top three seem to be better than in the other case. 10 million, this is impossible. So this is this is very good. This is very good too. So it looks like the quality is better if we remove the categorical features. It seems like using the one hot encoder for um for categorical features, those columns that are text, seems to be messing with the clusters and the anomaly detection. So, what else? Well, let's keep going. So this is certainly wrong too. What about this? It could be normal. This could be normal too. It seems too expensive. Only one room and so expensive. But it could be, it's possible. It is possible. Oh, and nothing. Price level three. A lower price level means, by the way, this is a cheaper region. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So it could, so this is a very cheap neighborhood. This is an expensive neighborhood. This too. So it looks like these are too expensive for where they are. I think so. Let's keep going. No, they could be false positives too. It could be real. So I'm not sure if it's those are actually any more anomalies. Like who would pay so much for a one room apartment? Uh, 
I don't think it's likely. But hey, we're I think we're fairly happy. So what we can do instead is instead of setting the contamination to one percent, we set it to a half percent. Let me run it again. And like, as it finished, we're gonna open it again. And now we could filter those owls out or actually, you know, manually go to the database and delete them or fix them. Like fixing this one would just be like so. This one probably as well. It's certainly not costing 10 millions. Probably 1 million. This nine nine hundred thousand, you know. All right, so I think it's fairly big value the anomaly detection. You have to be a little bit careful. Maybe you have to prepare the data a little bit, you know. But um, I think it's a very strong tool for your data to work with it and to filter out before you start training other things. Yes. So that's it. I invite you to join the Telegram. Actually, I don't know if I can invite anyone. But if you're curious, if you like Rubik's, because that's what it basically is under the hood, come join us at Telegram or you know, give a, give us a star. Obviously, give me a star. Give my project the star. Okay, fuck Rubik. No, I'm joking. Oh, nobody start me. I'm going to start myself. Yay, one star. <laughs> um, yeah. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment if something is unclear or if you have an idea or if you have good memes. We have sometimes memes in the Telegram. Yeah. We have hot chicks too. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if we have hot chicks. I'm sorry. There's 200 people in there. I assume someone of the 200 is a hot chick. I don't know. If you're after hot chicks, it's probably not the best place to hang out in a machine learning telegram channel. Yeah. But you know, maybe ask, maybe we can hook you up. Hey, okay, guys, I'm sorry. I have to stop. My jokes are bad too. Huh? All right. Was, was actually kind of liked it. Yeah, somewhat. So let me know what you think. Cheers.